logo was designed by Daryl Digal and shall be the league's new identity as it ushers in a new era. Tonight, joining us to talk about this milestone for the 84-year-old league, our logo design contest winner, Daryl Digal, head judge, Sidney Samodio, and UAAP president, Sir Nong Kalanog. Daryl, Sir Sidney, Sir Nong, welcome to the game. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So, I want to start off first with Daryl. Daryl, unang-una, congratulations. How did it feel, how does it feel rather, knowing that your logo was chosen to become the logo of the UAP and can you tell us what you were doing exactly nung nalaman mo na ikaw yung nanalo? First of all, sobrang surprise po ako na ako po yung nanalo. Actually, I got a random call from Sir Mikey at Apo yun and I was really surprised. I, I really don't know what to to say, what to expect right now. I'm just so happy, very honored that I got this uh, opportunity in this milestone po na UAAP. So, thank you po talaga. Well, alam mo, Daryl, hindi ko alam kung bakit ka na-surprise dahil napakaganda ng logo na ginawa mo. But let's backtrack a little bit. Why did you, you know, think of joining this competition in the first place? Actually, uh, yung una kong nag-suggest sa akin na mag- Uh, join po ng UAP logo competition was my friend. Mm -hmm. Then, yung prop ko po, si Sir Manny, na, nag-suggest na rin po siya sa class namin na join po ng UAP logo competition. And, it, uh, joining competition, it makes me excited kasi it challenged me to boost my creativity and my idea. So, there, uh, nagawa ko yung logo and, <laughs> Surprisingly, I won. <laughs> <laughs> Parang ang simple, no? But, but, I'm ganun, sure, ganun lang. <laughs> oh, but I'm sure it's not. Now, I want to move on to Sir Sidney. Sir, uh, for those who are wondering, uh, Sir Sidney is the head judge for the contest. He's also the executive creative director of the Macan World Group Philippines. Can you talk a bit about the process and how difficult it was to sift through all of these submissions? Kasi alam ko marami talaga yung nag-submit. Yeah, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, there were over 300 entries initially. And uh, the process was actually very stringent in the, in the sense that uh, even before we started judging, uh, there was a pre-screening that happened, uh, and this was uh, this was through uh, representatives from all the different uh, UAAP schools, mm -hmm. and uh, they were able to narrow it down the field from 300 plus to around 30 because uh, there were some ties and uh, that's when the actual judging process actually started kicking in yeah and even the judging process uh, took multiple stages uh, there was preliminary judging uh, and then uh, there was a uh, judging of the top 10 and ranking the top 10 so every round we told ourselves the judges that we wanted to look at all the qualified entries with fresh eyes uh, and see you know it's a very it's a very momentous thing uh, trying to replace uh, a logo that's been around for eight decades so we wanted to make sure that we uh, we chose the right one and I believe that we we did uh, with the winning logo. It, it's again, uh, I, I don't envy your job. And of course, uh, for those wondering again, I forgot to mention this. Uh, what school Daryl goes to? Daryl goes to FEU and he's loud and proud, a uh, fine arts major. And again, looking at uh, what he's created, I think it's safe to say that he's putting his studies to good use. So congratulations to everyone uh, involved in his education, all his classmates and his friends. Because I'm sure panalo niyo rin po ito. Now, Sir Nong, we'll go to you. What does this mean for the UAAP na merong bagong identity? And of course, you guys are ushering in a new era for the league. Well, actually, Billy, Paolo, no? um, we were uh, thinking about um, you know, activities to, uh, to try and keep the UAAP has become a really uh, big brand. And we felt uh, uh, the past few years that I think it was high time for us to actually come up with a logo that would be worth marketing, no? Yeah. Uh, not to say that our current uh, 
uh, our old logo uh, is not uh, good because it lasted for so long. But we felt uh, that um, it may be time for us to uh, to come up with a new logo uh, to be able to help in marketing the league one. And mm-hmm. then secondly, because we are coming from uh, from a pandemic, uh, normally, because uh, when we were consulting, you usually come up with these logo design contests at uh, momentous occasions, no? Like a hundred years, yes. right? Mga ganyan. But we felt that since we were coming out of a pandemic and we were starting again, hopefully uh, by the first quarter of 2022, and we have a new partner in Signal, it would be a perfect occasion to parang relaunch or a rebirth of the UAAP with a new logo and with a new partner. Yeah, uh, Sir Nong, again, this uh, this coming in right after the pandemic, I, I, I completely understand your point. Now moving back on to Daryl, Daryl, uh, this the uh, this really quickly here. Could you describe to us kung anong kwento ng logo na to? What what was the inspiration and what did you want people to see when they see this logo? Uh, actually, the logo it has a lot of representation. Uh, you may see uh, parang siyang synergy, parang siyang metal. Uh, kaibigan ko sinabi niya makadok niya yung parang sipa the one that we played mm-hmm. before uh, yung sipa and it's really uh, the inspiration behind this is it's the the sipa the, that game mm-hmm. it taught me how to be competitive before when I was young because when I started to play that game para siyang nakaka-excite you yeah. know yung parang once na matalo ka, uh, ma- mahulog mo yung sipa. Then, it, yung turn naman ng kaibigan mo. At parang nagiging exchange of experiences siya for you. Mm-hmm. Then, and I think that's the, what's UAAP about. It's an exchange of uh, experiences. Uh, it's a form of parang representation of our culture, our sports heritage. Parang yun po. Ang, parang simple as that. And yun po. 